In the world of Hollywood glamour and royal intrigue, few moments speak louder than a well-timed fashion statement. Meghan Markle, often scrutinized and celebrated in equal measure, recently turned heads in a bold, red gown that had insiders buzzing. Was it simply a stunning outfit, or a calculated move to silence the critics who have been casting doubt on her marriage and her place in the limelight? Just like her late mother-in-law Princess Diana, Meghan seems to be using fashion to tell a deeper story, one of independence, resilience, and a striking rebuttal to her naysayers. But what exactly is Meghan trying to say with this daring choice? Let's unravel the layers behind the so-called revenge dress and what it could mean for her future. Meghan Markle has long idolized Diana, Princess of Wales, and it's no surprise that she might take a page from Diana's book when faced with public scrutiny. Decades ago, Diana famously wore a figure-hugging black dress, now coined her revenge dress, after Prince Charles publicly admitted to adultery. Meghan's recent appearance in a flesh-flashing red Carolina Herrera gown, complete with a thigh-high slit, seemed to channel a similar message, strength, independence, and a bold defiance against the critics. For months, Meghan has been the subject of numerous unflattering headlines. Accusations of her being a tyrannical boss, rumors of marital strife, and whispers of an impending trial separation between her and Prince Harry have swirled in both British and American media. Reports from Radar Online and even more reputable outlets like People have speculated that the couple is adopting a twin-track approach to their lives, focusing on separate projects and causes while maintaining their public image as a couple. With Harry pursuing philanthropy and Meghan exploring commercial ventures like her upcoming Netflix projects, the pair's increasingly independent public appearances have only fueled the gossip. But it seems Meghan's red carpet moment was her way of taking back control of the narrative. This wasn't just any dress, it was a revamped version of a gown she had worn previously with Harry, but this time, without the train and with an audacious split. Gone was the tightly controlled, polished duchess. In her place stood a more relaxed, self-assured Megan, sporting open-toed shoes and loose waves in her hair. A striking departure from her typically regal attire, this look signaled a shift, perhaps a declaration that she's ready to embrace her identity outside the royal constraints. The parallels to Diana's revenge dress are undeniable, and sources close to Megan suggest that this was no accident. Just as Diana used fashion to reclaim her independence in the wake of personal turmoil, Meghan seems to be signaling that she's ready for a new chapter. Hollywood insiders noted that her appearance at the Children's Hospital Los Angeles Gala was all about Meghan stepping into her own spotlight, solo, glamorous, and unapologetic. Her brief, headline-grabbing appearance added to the intrigue. Critics and fans alike were left wondering, was this Megan's way of reclaiming her story amidst the relentless gossip about her marriage and professional life? Interestingly, while Megan was dazzling the red carpet, Harry was notably absent. The couple's separate schedules, including Harry's solo 40th birthday celebration and recent travels to Africa, have only intensified the speculation. Yet, sources close to the Sussexes argue that their so-called separation is exaggerated. According to those familiar with the couple, their twin-track approach is a healthy dynamic of two working partners, not a sign of marital strain. But the careful wording, exaggerated rather than outright false, leaves room for interpretation. Is there more to the story than the Sussexes are letting on? Despite the mounting rumors, both Meghan and Harry have shown a unified front when it comes to their joint causes and their family. However, the couple's increasing time apart, Harry's recent solo trips to the UK and his decision to stay in Africa after his official engagements have kept the rumor mill turning. Even their on-screen chemistry during a recent CBS interview promoting a charity raised eyebrows, with some commentators noting an apparent awkwardness between the couple. Meghan's touch on Harry's knee and her candid remarks about their shared struggles seem to contrast with Harry's reserved body language, leaving observers to wonder about the true state of their relationship. As Meghan continues to navigate the scrutiny of her professional life and her marriage, one thing is clear, she is crafting her own narrative.
Whether it's through bold fashion choices or strategic solo appearances, Meghan is making it known that she is in control of her public image, even as rumors swirl around her. Meghan Markle's recent fashion statement may have been more than just a sartorial choice, it was a declaration. A declaration of independence, resilience, and perhaps even a subtle rebuke to those who continue to question her role as both a public figure and a wife. Like Diana before her, Meghan has proven that sometimes, a dress can speak louder than words. As the Sussexes carve out their paths in the public eye, it remains to be seen what new chapters they'll write, together or apart. But one thing is for sure, Meghan's story is far from over.